Tight scale from Blue Rose Paper Treasures. I was just sitting down to make a, another never ending card and I pulled out an older one and I've realised I made a, quite a few mistakes in this one. So I just thought I'd do a very quick tutorial, do's and don'ts on doing a never ending card. So this one I did last year and when I opened it today I realised I put the hearts on upside down and we fold it out that way. That one's okay. And I've put that sentiment upside down. And that's, that's it. So I thought I'd do a, a proper tutorial so that I don't make that mistake again. So I've started doing a new one with the All My Love Designer Series paper. And what you need to do is get yourself is some repositional tape and just stick them on temporarily until you get the idea of where everything's going to go. They are actually easy to make. You need, whoops, go that way. Um, four strips of three inches by six inches and scored at one and a half on each end. And I haven't done that one, so I'll quickly score that. Uh, when I score, I just flip it so that I know that it's exactly one and a half. Right, you don't need to fold the score lines. They'll fold all by themselves. Alright, so as you can see, I've numbered them. So you've got two vertical ones and two horizontal pieces. So what's basically going to happen is that'll flip over and those two will attach to that side and those two will attach to that side. So I'll just flip them back and all you need, I've got some nice thick tape here and I used a bright yellow so that it was easy for you to see. And you're just going to put a strip across each corner. Doesn't really matter where you put it. I probably should have put it on the other piece, which would have made it easier. Alright, so you're just putting four strips on the corners. I should have put those on that side, but it still works the same way. So we just take two corners off. Yep, that, that's not going to work. We'll have to do that one, that one. So you're basically just going to flip it over and just align it right dead centre with that one. Accurate scoring and um, trimming is essential for these. And we'll flip that one over. So the two and the two are going to match. And that didn't stick. Two and two. We'll take the one and one off. So that will go, that one matches that one. So right in the corner. And that one right in the corner. Alright, so the finished size is 6 by 6. So then what we do is we start opening. And you can fold those score, line, score lines down. As you open them, flip it again. Fold those ones. Fold those ones. And there you have it. And there's your never ending card. Or don't need to really score it. Um, and that's it. That's it. The base of it all done. So what I do is all these squares, so rectangles, will be three inches by one and a half. Three inches by one and a half. And you've got the three by three in the centre there. So I start by, I've just used positional, repositional tape and I just start cutting and I do one panel at a time. I'm going to flip it over. Now this one here, I now don't like that there, so when I go to that one I'll take them out. So when you flip it over, I don't want those bits sticking out on the side. So if you go back, whoop, don't know how to go backwards, whoop, flip that way. Alright, so it looks better without those circles sticking out the side. And these are all pieces that are just stuck on with repositional tape until I get it how I want it. And flip it over to the next one. And just making sure all your pieces are the same way. And then what I also do is I put little arrows on each one. So I know that when I'm putting the pieces on, the arrows are the right way. So not like this one where I did the 
which one like that one where I put it on upside down this way I know that that one's going that way all right flip it over and I've done the same with those pieces too so I've got a little arrow there so I know when I'm putting my pieces on there's an arrow on that one now I've only used the whisper white thin uh, 12 by 12 cardstock um, the thicker one it would make it too thick and too bulky so that's all I wanted to show you for now. I'll go away and finish this because I haven't decided how I'm going to finish it off yet. But I just want to show you the do's and don'ts. So yeah, so that was one thing I didn't like when that was under there. I didn't like the circle sticking out. So you could probably put some flowers or something there if that was plain paper. All right, I'll leave that there and I'll come back when it's all finished. Bye. Hello, it's Gail and I'm back. So I finally finished the never ending card. Um, I just kept with two coloured inks. I just used powder pink and lovely lipstick and the corresponding colour on all the backgrounds is um, lovely lipstick as well. And that's the first, that's the, the front of it. And there's our first flip. I've used the tufted dynamic um, embossing folder which is actually looks quite nice on that. Um, just alternated the colours to break it up because it was too too pink or it was too white. Um, I've used the stamp set out of Beauty Abounds because I like that sentiment that's in there and I've used a couple of the butterflies and I've also used the, um, the dotty things and those other dotty things so they're bubbles and the little scattered dots I've used that a couple of die cuts as well um, from Cake Soiree um, and I think they're from that as well um, there's the tufted and I've just done some little flowers around the outside. Next panel, used the tufted again for the background. Um, nothing else on that. And there's the fourth one. And I've just left a circle there for you writing of a personal message. And there we have it. And I actually did it the wrong way myself when I started sticking things down after telling you the right way to do it. And there we have it. All done. And it just goes on and on and on. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.